Hi everybody, it's Amy Valentine, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm bringing you my July haul. This is quite a big one, so stay tuned, maybe get a cup of tea or something. I asked you guys on my Snapchat if you wanted a long haul or two short hauls, and most people said, a long haul so I'm here bringing everything to you in one. I will put my snapchat name here in case you want to add me. I don't want to faff around I'm just gonna get straight into it so here we go. First up I have some items from Boohoo. I saw their festival shop and I had to have a couple of pieces I thought they're great. First up this is probably my favorite item and it is a pair of gorgeous tie-dye shorts. I love the blue and the purple together and the coin detailing is really cute and they are 12 pounds. Then I got a crop top this has got a yin yang design on it and I think it's similar to a unif top that's been around and that is eight pounds. Then I have a kimono it's black with a kind of bleach tie-dye so it's kind of an orange color and it has tassels on it on the arms and along the bottom. A lot of my kimonos are quite bright and floral and I wanted more of a grungy one to wear with like band tees and stuff so I think this would be really good with that and that is £16. Then lastly from Boohoo I have a raincoat. I have already had one very similar to this from Misguided. I got a pink one but unfortunately my friend broke it. So um, I got this one instead because this one is more of a purpley blue and the misguided one is kind of like a greeny turquoise or a pink. So I wanted to go for something a little bit different. I will hopefully be wearing this at Reading. This has been so good for festivals and I would really recommend them. They're so easy to spot in a crowd and that is 35 pounds. Next I have a couple of items from Rebel Circus. They're a kind of alt online store and they carry loads of amazing brands. First up I have a t-shirt. This is black and it's super distressed. It's got holes all in it and holes in the collar, kind of shredding at the bottom and on the sleeves. It's a really flowy thin material and it's really like super soft. I've wanted a distress tee for ages so I'm really happy with this one and this is £34. And the other item I got from Rebel Circus is from a brand Lip Service. I'm a big fan of that brand so I was really happy to get these. They are flocked velvet shorts with a lace up detail at the front and I love these so much and they are £32. Now I have a mini haul from Arc. I've worked with them a couple of times now and I'm always looking at their new in stuff and it's always amazing so I have a couple of items from them. First up I have an item from Motel Rocks and this is the Sun and Moon print dress. This is one of my all time favourite prints from Motel Rocks so I was really happy to get this. It's a skater style with some gorgeous strappy back detail and I wore this to Kendall Calling and that is £35. Next from ARC I have crop top. This is in a kind of 70s style, I'm really into that at the moment. It's really simple crepe material and it's got a lace up detail on the front. This will look really nice with kind of tan skirts, kind of 70s vibe and that is £18. Next I have an item from The Ragged Priest. This is my first proper clothing item from them so I got really excited about them and I think that they are so my style. Like if I was to get any Ragged Priest I think this is perfect. They are just a light denim mom jean but they have secret Queen moons and stars all on the front in gold and silver which is a really gorgeous detail I'm so happy with them they fit me really well on the waist they are a little flattening on the bum and for some reason they're really wide on the leg at the bottom I prefer them to be a bit skinnier but um it's really not that big a deal so yeah I'm really happy with those and they are 35 pounds in the sale next I have a basic it's just a really simple v-neck ribbed crop top I love the 90s style of this and I'm in desperate need of some new basics and that is just six pounds I'm off to uni soon so I really wanted some comfy trousers just to like lounge around in but still look kind of dressed so I picked out the these pattern trousers. These are by a brand called Only and they're really comfy, just like a light trouser with a nice little geo print on them. They're elasticated on the waist, so really comfy, and they are £26. Now a couple of accessories. First up, I have this floppy hat. I have one floppy hat, but it's kind of flopped down too much. It just kind of flops in my face. So I picked out this one. It is a dark charcoal grey with some nice little feather detailing, and that is £18. And last of all, I have a coin belt. I think these look really good with bell bottoms, and I've been after one for ages. So I'm really happy with this. I also like how it looks with denim shorts, and that is £10. Now a couple of items from a shop called Shein which was formerly Shein side. You guys might know that I do a lot of collaborations with them. I really love their store. First up I have a shredded knit crop top. It is cream and it's just got really big holes all over it. They did something similar to this a little while ago and I really wanted it then but it sold out so I'm really happy to get this one. It is a bit skimpy in some of the shredded parts but I still really like it. I love the kind of grungy vibe and that is £13. Next I have a dress and this is just a grey tie dye thing with a bit of distressing in it. It's just a simple straight up and down t-shirt dress. I'm very on the fence about this one because the fit is not that flattering on me. I don't know what it is maybe I just need a belt or something but I just don't think it's that flattering on my body shape that is £9.70 so a bargain and last of all from Shein is a leopard kimono like I said I've been looking for more kind of grungy kimonos rather than happy little floral ones I've been really into my leopard print recently I went off it for ages because I thought it looked really trashy with pink hair but then I realized I actually quite like the trashy look and that is £11. Now from Pop Rageous, I have a pair of leggings. They're very much a kind of Black Milk-esque brand. They have loads of really cool prints, like they've done Pokemon stuff in the past. I really wish I got that. But I picked up a pair of leggings that are very me, in my opinion. These are just black leggings with a moon print on the thigh and then like clouds all on the legs. And they are £51. Now some items from a brand called MXCI. They are an independent brand. It's all handmade. There's some really rad designs on there, so I'm really happy with my stuff. First up, I have a t-shirt. This is a really nice forest green colour, and it says Spring Break Forever on it in black. 
black so it's a really subtle print and then it's fringing all at the bottom which I love it's very like festivaly and that is £12 then I also got some bell bottoms from them I fell in love with these on the website they're like flocked velvet pattern and then they're sheer underneath like semi sheer unfortunately though they are a little bit small for me so it's a bit of a struggle to get them out of my bum I thought they were high waisted but these are actually really low rise on me but if, if I wear them with a long top it's not an issue I think they're gorgeous and they are £35 and lastly from MXCI I have a play suit it's plain black with a deep v-neck at the front and then on the back it's got strappy detail in the shape of a pentagram which I think is so rad they have so many different pieces with this design on the back where it's like top dresses maxi dresses like everything I have a cami of it already but I just love the play suit so much and that is £40 and I definitely recommend their site everything is so cool another independent shop this is also all handmade a shop called Hello Margaret sent me some pieces I got these for Kendall Calling Festival and I was really happy with them first up I have a kimono this is in a kind of witchy themed print and it's all hand designed and all handmade the work that goes into each of these pieces is amazing this is a grey maxi length kimono with long sleeves and it's just so flowy and amazing and I love it so much like there's tassel detail at the bottom and that is £55 then I really love the print so I also got a dress in it as well this is just a really basic shift dress I absolutely love this but it is a little bit short I'm gonna try and change it for a larger size just because I am very tall and this happens very frequently which is a shame and that is £37 then the other pieces I got from them is a two-piece this also has a sun and moon print I love anything with moon on it co-ords are great because you can wear all the pieces together or separately you can create so many different outfits with them the top has got really gorgeous halter neck detailing and it ties at the back twice and the shorts are super high-waisted and each pieces are £32 each. Moving on to shoes now, I have a couple of pairs from Public Desire. First up, I have a pair of heels. These are some serious stompers. They've got a big platform, big heel, and they've just got a lace-up detail on the front. Usually I'm not much of a fan of the lace-up heel trend, but I just think these are so badass. And they are £36.99. Then the other pair of shoes were a surprise in the post. It's just a pair of black jelly sandals. These would be great for wearing around the pool and they are in the sale for just £6.99. There's loads of different styles as well, so go check them out. Now I have a clutch from an independent designer called Poppy Lissyman. I think she's based in Australia and she has some seriously amazing designs. I got the Worship Hands Clutch. It's patent leather with a rose gold back and it's got like glitter detailing on it. I just think it's so cool. And that is £52. Now I have a couple of snapbacks. This is a little bit different for me because I've never been much of a snapback wearer apart from my like scene kid days, but let's not talk about that. My boyfriend's always wearing snapbacks and sometimes he just puts them on me and I kind of like how they look. So I recently got a couple from Crawling Death. They're just really simple with a kind of circle patch design on the front. The first one has a kind of grim Reaper design and it says never mind on it. Obviously it's kind of inspired by Nirvana which I thought was really cool. The other one is black and it has a skull dagger design and it says life's a bitch which I can totally relate to. Both just really badass and they are £31 each. Moving on to sunglasses now. I got quite a few pairs this month. First up is a pair from a brand called The Mix. I thought I'd go for something a bit more fun kind of summery and I opted for a pair of super oversized heart shaped sunglasses. They're kind of tortoise shell frame and they are £16. Then from Glasses Shop I got a couple of pairs of sunglasses. First up I got a pair that are kind of a mix between a cat eye and a wayfarer and they are tortoise shell frames and they are £25. Then for the second pair I thought I'd be a bit more adventurous and I went for the Newcastle Wayfarer which is a really kind of jazzy tortoise shell frame with bright green lenses like green and yellow. Kayla Haddington had a pair in the red and I tried them on and I loved them so I had to get a pair obviously and they are also £25. Now moving on to a bit more like premium sunglasses I have a pair of Ray-Bans. These are just a really simple rounded style just really easy to style up. They'll go with every outfit and they are £125. Moving on to jewellery now. First up I have something from a brand called Tribalic. It's a choker and it's got the flower of life pendant on it or sempaternal if you like bring me the horizon and that is £22. Then I have a couple of items from Luna Made. First I have a leather choker with a heart shaped padlock on it. This actually unlocks, it has a key and everything and that is £16. Then I have a mother of pearl tassel detail necklace which is £18. Now a couple of pieces from a ring brand called Good After Nine. They do loads of really cutesy little pug rings and cats and stuff, unicorns but they also do some more like edgy kind of designs so obviously I went for those. First up I have the sacred heart ring got a flaming heart design with loads of daggers all in it which is really cool and that is £23. Then I got a little snake ring where it's holding a gem in its mouth which is really cute and that is £20. Some more rings now but these are a bit more premium. They're from a shop called Tentative Decisions and I have been a huge fan of this shop. Like, they were one of the first crystal ring companies that I spotted and they are all like handmade and everything like that not like the kind of shitty fake crystals that you get everywhere now. So I have three rings from them and I absolutely am in love with them. First up is a double finger ring which has an amethyst point on it which I think is really cool. I'm so happy with this one, I love it. And that is £99. Next I have a titanium quartz ring which is a dark quartz but the different sides show like loads of different colours in the light. So like one side is green and the other is pink. It's just so cool and that is £80. And lastly I have a aura quartz point. This was quite hard to video. The studio light kind of just washed it out so it looks like a clear crystal but, but in natural light it's got a really gorgeous kind of pinky 
bluey glow to it and that is also £80. Now an item of skincare, this is from Ami Skincare which is quite good for problem skin I think and I am a sufferer of problem skin. This is called the Spring Clean Mask, this is also a new product and it's supposed to kind of draw out any impurities and I've been using this when I come back from festivals and everything because I get really bad skin after festivals, it's a nightmare. And so far I really like this, I always feel really nice and fresh when I've used it and that is £5.95. A beauty box now, this is a subscription box called Love Me Beauty, I'm not going to go into too much detail because I have written a blog post about it. It's a subscription box where they tailor everything to your needs, like your skin type and everything, or you can pick the items yourself if you want to. And it's just £10 per month, which is great. I will link the post below if you're interested. Something more DIY orientated now. I'm getting really into my patches. I picked this one up from Wayward Studio on Depop. It was £3 including delivery. It's a smiley face with its tongue out and it just says shit on the bottom. It doesn't make a lot of sense, but I just wanted it, so I bought it. I'm also selling a load of my clothes on Depop. My username is X, so go check out. I'm open to negotiations. Please buy my stuff so that I can afford university. Thanks. Some homeware now. This is from Red Temple Prayer. As obviously I'm going to uni, I'm going to be moving out and I need my own homeware. So when they got in touch, I was like, hell yeah, because their mugs are so rad. First mug I got is a stainless steel mug, which is kind of weird because I've never really seen the stainless steel mugs, but this would be really good for festivals actually. It just says black coffee in the kind of black Sabbath font, which is really cool and that is £12. Then the other mug has a Baphomet design with like Satan's goat face on it so you can have a metal breakfast. And it also has like black coffee written on it as well. It's kind of awkward because I don't actually like black coffee at all. I can't stand it. I really frilly like mocha every day. So unfortunately I'm not that metal. But that is £10 and I would definitely check out the rest of their designs. They have some seriously cool stuff. Lastly something that is very very exciting, possibly the thing I got most excited about this month and maybe one of the best things I've got out of my blogging career, it is the new GoPro. I got the GoPro Hero 4 Session which is the smallest GoPro ever to date. I'm sure that they're gonna make one that's like this big in the future. But yeah, I got this one. I'm so, so excited to use it. I haven't used it properly yet, but I will be taking it with me to Reading Festival. I was overwhelmed with how generous they were. Like, honestly, they sent me a load of other accessories for it. So I will report back. I will be uploading a Reading Festival vlog. So yeah, I guess just stay tuned for that. You'll be able to judge for yourself the quality and everything. If you guys know GoPro prices, you know that they aren't too cheap, but they are honestly investment. Like this is so small, it's perfect for taking around with you. So it's 329 pounds. Then the accessories, I got a GoPro case and in that I got a memory card and everything which was so generous of them they didn't need to do that at all. And I have a little floaty case which is £19.99. A harness to attach it to your hand, your leg, your arm, to anywhere. Then I also got a chest harness which will be really fun for festival videos which is £29.95. And lastly I have a three-way tripod. It's got so many different ways that you can use it which is perfect for me. This is going to be so handy. And that is £54.95. Hopefully I will get really kind of creative with my Reading Festival vlog. I might also be taking it to festival number six. So yeah I guess stay tuned for that huge thank you to GoPro like honestly I cannot wait to get cracking with all that stuff yeah. so that is the end of the haul you are a true subscriber if you have made it this far like seriously thank you it takes me forever to edit these videos so I appreciate you thank you as always everything is linked in the down bar below please give the video a thumbs up if you've enjoyed watching leave me a comment below if you're feeling nice say hi or like leave a comment with your favorite item if you haven't already and you would like to make sure you subscribe to my channel to be updated for future videos thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video